CNN released a scathing report from sources who have been alongside Donald Trump, uh, who are familiar with the phone calls that he made throughout his term, um, in, in at least the early years of his presidency, because it's not really clear who these people are. Um, but I have the feeling that it's either H.R. Uh, McMaster, John Bolton, James Mattis, Rex Tillerson, or John Kelly, who were the uh, sources for CNN here, because you gotta, if if you're if you're one of his close advisors who has been scorned by Donald Trump, like all of those guys have, um, then how sweet is it to go to CNN, right? The the media company who Donald Trump just. Oh, he just, it just gets under his skin. It just all the time, just, oh, they're just always, always itching, always itching Donald Trump to go to them and say, hey, look, yeah, like I, I, I'm going to tell you all about these phone calls he made, which are deplorable, deplorable. We have some other uh, portions of the, um, of the article that I have up here. Um, they concluded that the president was often delusional as two sources put it, in his dealings with foreign leaders. Two sources compared many of the president's conversations, conversations with foreign leaders to Trump's recent pref, press briefings on the coronavirus pandemic, free-form, fact-deficient, stream-of-consciousness ramblings full of fantasy and off-the-wall pronouncements based on his intuitions, guesswork, the opinions of Fox News TV hosts, and social media misinformation. Like, that's as bad as it gets for, for like, any employee. If anyone were to act like that, like, you're, f you're fired, right? But, like, Donald, Donald Trump is the leader of the free world. And, and these are from sources who have, who are very familiar with these phone calls. Ugh. And it gets worse. But his most vicious attacks said the sources were aimed at women heads of state. In conversations with both May and Merkel, the president demeaned and denigrated them in diatribes described as near sadistic by one of the sources and confirmed by others. Quote, some of the things he said to Angela Merkel are just unbelievable. He called her stupid and accused her of being in the pocket of the Russians, right? Like project, okay? Uh, he's toughest with those he looks at as weaklings and weakest with the ones he ought to be tough with. Trump incessantly boasted to his fellow heads of state, including Saudi Arabia's autocratic royal heir Mohammed bin Salman and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un about his wealth, his genius, great accomplishments as president, and the idiocy of his Oval Office predecessors, according to the sources. So, like, of course Trump would, like, boast about his wealth and genius to, like, the Saudi Arabian autocratic royal heir to the throne and a dictator like Kim Jong-un because like Donald Trump he thinks those people are strong like he thinks you to get to those positions you have to be a strong person not the fact that like oh he's just they're just born into it right but then these democrats who these democratic leaders who are the strong ones right because in in order for you to have power in a democracy like you have to be strong or cheat right, or cheat, like Donald Trump did, and have a very corrupt party willing to, to back you. But 99% of the time, in democracies, with the vote, you have to convince the population that you are a strong leader, right? There's no heirs here, right? There's no heirs in democracies. So of course, Donald Trump is going to think that the people who are the heirs are the strong ones, because he he's, he's he was heir to his his father's millions and so he thinks that's what's strong and he grew up in new york where new york money just it's passed on passed on passed on and so there he donald trump probably hung out with heirs and so that's who he thinks is strong and he has no idea about democracies and so and he hates women especially smart women and so he treats them like garbage that's the leader that's the leader of the free world. And it ends. One, per one person familiar with almost all the conversations with the leaders of Russia, Turkey, Canada, Australia, 
and Western Europe describe the calls cumulatively as abominations so grievous to U.S. national interests that if members of Congress heard from witnesses to the actual conversations or read the texts or contemporaneous notes, even many senior Republican members would no longer be able to retain confidence in the president. Like, I doubt it. <laughs> like, whoever that person is who's familiar with almost all these calls, like, they don't know the Republican Party. Because they are the bottom of the shoe when it comes to parties. They are dirty. They are dirty. And they are not going to do anything about Donald Trump being mean to some female leaders. <laughs> you think the Republicans are going are gonna to stand on the side of, of Theresa May and Angela Merkel over Donald Trump? Like, I doubt it. I doubt it.